Hey guys, Cindy Williams here, the One Less CEO. Today we're talking about how to make your YouTube channel stand out, right? How do you make yourself stand out in the crowd? So if you want to learn my best tips for making your YouTube channel stand out, how I grew my channel from zero to over 20,000 subscribers, and... um all of the things in between and how to make a really impactful connection with your audience and keep on watching. That's what we're doing on the show today. All right, guys, welcome back. Don't forget, we're talking about YouTube today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. We bring you tips, tricks, training on all kinds of different things in the travel world to help you continue to grow your travel business, and I don't want you to miss a thing. If you're new here, type a little I'm new in comments. I would love to welcome you to our community, and if you are new, you might not know who I am. My name is Cindy Williams, and I have been in the travel industry going on 30 years, 28 and a half, so I'm rounding up a little bit, but guys, it's been a minute. I started way back in the 90s as a baby right out of high school. I went to travel school, worked for one of the biggest travel brands in the world. I now own and operate my own award-winning nationally recognized travel agency, but I'm best known for being the CEO of Careers on Vacation, which I'm the CEO and founder of, which helps people just like you learn how to launch, grow, and supersize your travel businesses. And today we are talking about YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. This one obviously is near and dear to my heart. I've been doing YouTube for many, many years, and I started out like many of you, like, how do I do it? And oh, I don't know. That seems like, that seems like I'm not sure if, if I want to get on camera or hit record or do all the things. I know it's nerve wracking at the beginning, but YouTube can be an absolute multiplier for your travel business. I mean, think about all the different types of marketing. We train our clients and our programs, all kinds of different marketing channels, and I'm always Always an advocate of having a multifaceted marketing approach. So YouTube is just one piece in the puzzle, but it is becoming a bigger and bigger piece because as we know, video is king right now in marketing. Video is king on social networks. It's king as you start to be do bigger things like sales funnels and you know that more advanced marketing techniques. So video is something that you also can use again and again. But for those of you on a shoestring budget, video is free, right? It doesn't cost you anything but time, energy, and effort. So if you are starting on a shoestring budget, this might be a great one for you to consider. And I'm so thankful and grateful. I want to say a big thank you to all of you guys because you have made us the number one channel on YouTube for travel agent education. Um, so thank you so much for your support of our channel. Feel free to share it to those that will help. But the reason that that's relevant is, is I have a lot of experience in what not to do on YouTube and also what works really, really well and how to really connect with your ideal clients through this forum of video. So today I'm going to share a few tips with you. Number one, when you're starting with video, I think the number one thing I always tell people is you got to just get started and there is a learning process that needs to take place and you need to give yourself the grace to get through that learning curve. Your first 50 videos probably aren't gonna be that great. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's one of those things where you're gonna learn a little bit about what works, what doesn't work, how to frame up a how to frame up a video, how to talk, the right equipment that you might need to use. And I have other videos on some of those things. And of course we teach this in our mastermind program. But for the the perspective of just knowing definitely those top tips give yourself the grace. You got to get started. There's nothing that's going to get you over that learning curve of learning your voice. You can never learn your voice without putting yourself out there. And I know it's scary. I know it's, you know, one of those things like, oh my gosh, I got to hit record and start talking and thousands of people might see this video. Um, you can't think about that at the beginning, right? I have videos that have thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of views at this point. And if I would have known that when I was making that video, it probably would have freaked me out, right? So I want you to just talk to the camera, get comfortable with it. Talk to your camera like it's your best friend or your, or your spouse or your dog. 
whoever your favorite in that that group of, of two or three is, right? <laughs> but I want you to make friends with the camera. That's kind of number one. Allow yourself the space to get comfortable with making video. Allow yourself to make mistakes. Allow yourself to mess up. All of the things. I had to do all of that. If you scroll and go watch my first videos, they're so bad, you guys. Like shaky camera and all of the things. Bad lighting, bad audio. Every mistake you could have made, I made. But the next one gets better and the next one gets better and the ne- until, you know what, you have a beautiful studio or you're great at vlogging or you really have your system down. Like now I'm in the place where I film from this office, I film from our careers on vacation offices, and I also have a vlogging kit for when we travel where I can pick up and at any minute I can grab the right equipment, the right audio, and I can do my job of what I need to do as a creator in the space that I know I'm going to take those pieces and create marketing. But I would have never gotten there from day one. You have to learn these things a little bit at a time. So that's my first one. Allow yourself the grace to grow. We're going to call number one grace to grow. (laughs) That's what we're going to do. Number two thing that you can do is really recognize setting up your channel is important. Make sure you take the time to create a beautiful banner for your YouTube channel. Make sure you take the time to create a trailer video. You can actually create a video that's called a trailer video, and you can set it up in your settings. So every time someone lands on your channel, that's the video that will pop up for them to welcome them to the channel. I encourage you to, after you watch this video, go back and look at my trailer video and how I did it. Feel free to model that in your own way. We always say, we always say compliment, don't copy, right? But create a version of that that feels good for you that can be kind of that cornerstone video that sits on your your YouTube channel. Because before people are going to hit that subscribe, button, they're going to land on your page and go, is this something I want to follow? What is this about? Is this something I'm really interested in enough where I'm going to hit that follow button? So make sure that it looks good and you have all of those things kind of spaced together. My third tip for really having that impact in YouTube is create content that has value right? If you're just creating content for the fun of creating content, sometimes it's going to resonate, sometimes it's not. I know there's a lot of like micro content now that's based in comedy and things like that. But if you're really trying to reach those travel, those ideal travel clients, you need to bring relevant subject topics. And the way to do that is really figure out what your clients, depending on what your niche is, depending on what you sell, what are the problems that they have? Talk about that stuff, right? I think a good topic right now, for example, is places I can travel if I'm not vaccinated, places I can travel if I do have my vaccinations, right? You can make video content on that. That's something that consumers are like, I want to go on vacation, but like, ah, so many questions. You literally can create content out of conflict. Make sense? So if they, if there's a conflict that's happening or people don't understand a subject topic or they don't know what's going on with something, you can automatically assert and position your authority, position yourself as an expert by just bringing the topic to light, having a conversation about it and delivering some value through the form of video. I do this all the time with you guys, right? Like I've been running successful travel brands for decades now. So that's why you show up to my channel because you're like, I know Cindy knows her stuff. What are the tidbits of fun stuff she's going to give us this week that can maybe help my business grow? You're looking for those valuable pieces. So reposition that if you have a travel agency and like, what are the things that your potential viewers, your potential ideal clients would be coming to you for? Or what information do they need to know? And through the form of video, as you start delivering this content, what you're doing is you're building a bond, you're warming up your audience, and you're really getting to a place where people know, like, and trust you before they've actually even met you. And that's why video can be transformative. And that's why it can help you not only gather more leads, direct more traffic into your business, help you convert more sales, but it really puts you in that position where you're already, they know who, they kind of know you, right? Before they get on the phone. Whenever someone calls and they're like, I've been watching you on YouTube, whether it's for the travel agency or it's for here, I know that we already have a connection. We already have a rapport built, even though it might be my first time meeting that person or first time helping them either with a vacation or helping them grow their travel business, right? So that's one of those things where video can help you so much. So don't underestimate the the importance of delivering really good value in your videos. So I don't want to give you too much today because I know video is already like, you're like, do I want to even do it? I know this because I help clients 
learn how to get past their video blocks every day. In our Careers on Vacation Mastermind, we actually have a video challenge to help people learn how to ah, hit the record button. We help them learn the technical pieces of creating video. We help them learn how to make editing, how to do editing and make their brand look amazing while we're teaching all of the other things that we do in Careers on Vacation. So if video is something you really want to take hold of this year, in addition to growing your brand, I definitely encourage you to check out Careers on Vacation. This is our 12-week mastermind. This is the program you guys have probably already heard about, especially if you've been watching the channel. But this is where we teach hundreds and hundreds of travel entrepreneurs just like you every single year how to launch, grow, and supersize your travel business. You get amazing online content, but most importantly, you get to work with my team that helped me grow both my brands to multiple seven figures. So you get access to my marketing team, my my Facebook people, my social media people, my branding people, my mindset people, all of the things. And definitely go go and check out our case studies. You can really see the types of results that we deliver to people. And if that resonates with you, go to careersonvacation.com slash ready now. And we'd love to talk to you about how we can help you reach those goals. So definitely check that out. I'll put the links down below too. But guys, I hope this was a helpful video for you and gave you some tangible tips to start your journey with video. There's another um, great YouTuber I follow and he always says, you just got to hit record. (laughs) I love that because literally you start with one video and, you know, a couple years later, here we are, we're several, several years in. It's okay if it starts slow. That's, that's part of the process. Give yourself what? That grace to grow and you will be on your way to creating content. And guys, I love you so much. I wish you so much love and abundance wherever you are in, in the world and wherever you are on your journey. And guys, I will see you next week. Bye guys. Hey guys, Cindy Williams here. If you liked that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here. Click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. She's calling me.